How to build an IMAX 3D experience. A 3D movie is a movie that pops out of the screen at you. It's got an added layer of depth in it, so you feel more immersed in what you're seeing. IMAX is so named because it maximizes the image, and 3D IMAX takes that to another level. You will need a 3D IMAX digital camera, an IMAX digital laser projection system, a movie theater about eight stories tall, your own 3D movie production, 3D glasses, and popcorn with butter if desired. Cost to build, $15 million, not including film production. Step one, take a crash course in 3D. So humans have the special ability to see 3D by using their two eyes. One eye brings in one image, and the other eye brings in a slightly different image from a slightly different angle, and your brain combines those together to make a 3D image, and that process is called stereopsis. These differences also help you distinguish how near or far away objects are. That is the experience 3D films aim to create. Step two, create a 3D masterpiece. To make an IMAX 3D movie, you should have an IMAX 3D camera. An IMAX 3D camera has about a 4K resolution and lenses are about two and a half inches apart, which is the same distance as your eyes. So in the same way that you take in information from two different sources, so does the camera. Next, you'll need a theater big enough to show your film in all its glory. Build your IMAX theater with an eight-story high, slightly curved, custom-painted screen. When you go to a regular movie, the screen is large enough that it fills 54 degrees of your field of vision. That's a lot, but compare that to an IMAX movie screen, 70 degrees of your field of vision. It fills your peripheral vision the parts of your vision out to the side, really making you feel like you're in the action. Step four, install a 3D projection system. Ordinary movie projectors use one lens to put one image on the screen. IMAX 3D features two projectors to put two images on the screen at the same time. Insert lasers A and 25 million mirrors B into your dual projectors C and D. Step five, keep the two images you're projecting separate. The two images on the screen must be kept discrete one for each eye. That's accomplished by projecting each image with different color wavelengths. The first projector projects its image using one set of color wavelengths, while the second projector projects its colors using a different set of wavelengths. To ensure that each eye sees only the wavelengths meant for that eye, you'll need to wear 3D glasses that have a different optical coating on each lens, which acts as a wavelength filter.